Hi everybody, this is TJ with netpicks.com and the Spotlight Power Trader. It was a pretty stellar week of trading this week. Most of our trade plans ending positive and with new equity highs. It may have not been the easiest week. We did not have a lot of one and done sessions. We did have some, but a lot of the trade plans did require trading several trades before hitting the power of quitting goals. I thought it would be a nice opportunity to look at some of those and walk through some of the trades of the week. And I thought I would start with crude oil. Crude oil was pretty stellar this week with Spotlight literally winning five sessions in a row, six if you include the inventory report, and literally just one losing trade with the basic trade plan throughout the entire week. So crude oil probably was the easiest market to be trading this week as far as getting to goals although the YM, the NQ, the Russell, all were able to hit their goals as well, amongst others. So let's go ahead and look at crude. This is going back to Monday, and we're still in the Q contract, the August contract at this point. First trade, and that happens here, and it's pretty straightforward. It's right at 9.06, and it's going from 69.36 up to 69.50, with the stop at 69.18 and it's a straightforward trade and it basically hits money management. Nope, it still misses money management a little bit, but ultimately pushes through and almost gets to full target, full target 69.50 and then ultimately it does push through right there for a one and done session and it keeps going, it hits target three right on the nail for perfect target and then stops out. And that trade took from 9.06 to 9.29, so a rather slow market, but you could see $140 per contract to target two, $200 to target three. I mean, that one trade alone pays more than an entire monthly subscription of the Inner Circle, as well as the cost of Spotlight in general. Then on Tuesday the 17th, same thing, it's nice to have a plan. You just duplicate it every day. First trade comes right here, and that is at uh, 68.09. And I would make a little adjustment around that 200 moving average, which was at which is at 08. So put your entry in at 07. That's what I would do. I don't even think about it. It's just a habit. Work around near-term support and resistance levels if you can with small adjustments. And so that trade just kind of develops and develops, but ultimately pushes through right here. So that's when you're filled and it pushes through for a nice winner. Now this set up early, set up at 842, but right at nine o'clock, it's pushing through its entry. And for me, I'm going to take that trade because you're right near the entry at the time of the start time. It never really went through and progressed. And that's a beautiful trade. Gets to target two for 17 ticks, $170, and then target three, and a perfect target four for multiple position traders. And then even trails down further for just a fantastic trade. And let's say you didn't take that trade because it happened a little bit before nine o'clock, then you would just take the next trade which is a green trade, quite a bit smaller. It's a long trade and it's still a good size trade. It counts. If you're taking that one, it's able to hit its money management level and then the stop pushes up. The full target is at 79 and it gets as high as 77 and then stops out for just one tick. Again, you, you're if you miss the first trade here that maybe started a little bit too early, which is understandable, then you're still trading. You're still trying to hit your goals. And so the next trade becomes this yellow trade. Remember, the goal is a target two winner and a positive result. Or if you get 95% of the way to target two, you get a partial profit and you're still positive. Or if you hit two money management levels and stop out with break evens, as long as you're not negative, then you stop trading. Those are the goals. And that's how we're able to quit with a positive result most of the time while limiting our drawdown with efficient and minimal trading, which is the goal of the spotlight. So we, ne we never want to forget that. 
The next trade then is a short here, and it does hit money management. The stop moves down. The full target is 67.50, gets as low as 52, and then stops out. So if you miss this nice winner to start, then you end up with these two break-even trades, and your session would be over. And just if by chance your trade plan is a little more robust, where you actually have to quit with a winner, target to winner, then the next trade gets it done, and it comes all the way down and hits the goals. So that's beyond the basic trade plan, but I'm sure many of you have augmented and changed the trade plan to fit your own needs. And you could see just one good trade after another here in crude oil. That takes us to Wednesday, which is the day we roll over to the September contract. So we're typically rolling over on the 18th of the month. That's when the volume will move over to the newer contract. And that happened on Wednesday the 18th, a couple days ago. So we're just basically doing the same thing, waiting for our setup at 9. We get one right here, right at 9 o'clock. Looks a little bit like the trade that happened yesterday. Took a little time to develop. A little spike right here that goes down to 73. So instead of getting short at 74, as I've explained, I will make the little two-tick adjustment and get short at 72. Working around a little near-term support level there. And... It never comes up and stops out, so this trade's still active, and it pushes through, and you would get into the trade on this bar here, and it comes down and hits targets one, target two, the stop's moving down, the goals are reached, and it stops out right in here on this inside, inside of this bar. Now, a lot of you know that I don't like to move my stop inside of the bar. I like to put it right above the high of the bar, and another little maneuver you learn and so if you did that, then on a few bars later, it closes below the balance line. Then the stop is going to move down to two ticks above the balance line, but then also it pushes down and hits target three. And doesn't quite get to target four, but the stop moves down again to 62. And it's going to come up and hit that stop right there. So really nice trade on Wednesday. And if we just go to the crude oil report, Normally, I'm trading the crude oil report with Counterpunch Trader, but Spotlight works fantastic. Sometimes I'm tempted just to switch over because Spotlight works really well. Nothing new to learn. Wait two minutes. You can get in sync with the trade at this point. So there's the first trade of the day happens right here, and it's 1032. It triggers in. It comes up. It's target two. And a very straightforward trade. Target two is $0.14, cents, $140 a contract, and then it stops out. So one and done again, and that brings us to Thursday. And as I said in the beginning of this video, that many of the markets were not able to achieve one and done, hitting the goal on the first trade. But crude oil was actually able to do that quite a bit. It hit one and done again on Thursday. First trade coming right here at 901. It gets long. And it just does its thing, moves up to target two, target three. That's good for uh, 18 ticks, $180. Target three, $250. Target four, $320. And still trailing all the way up to here. And even further than target four. So a really nice trade. And this is a fantastic week in crude oil. Needless to say, new record profit levels achieved this week on multiple days with our basic trade plan, which brings us to today, Friday, options expiration day, not the easiest day to trade. So we're waiting for nine o'clock. This trade here was a loser, but that's before nine, before our start time. And unfortunately, there were no setups to capture this long move up, but that's okay. We're not trying to catch every move. We're just trying to catch the move with the best odds on our side. There's a long here. Notice that the filter saved us from a losing trade right here. Long trade triggers in, and it's going to end up stopping and reversing right here. And when you stop and reverse, you put on a, a two-tick adjustment plus or minus key levels. So instead of getting short at 47, you'd stop out of the yellow trade and get short not at 45, but at 44, because you adjust around the key level as well. And it does get short at 44, right here, 44. 
and that trade then pushes down and hits its full targets. Now, it looks like a loser and a winner. Are you at power of quitting? Well, you are. It's a partial loser. This trade getting long at 51 and short at 44 only lost seven ticks. And this was a uh, trade where you would have had to go to target three because after your three tick adjustment, target two becomes too small. And so target three wins 11 ticks and 11 is higher than seven. So it's a positive result. And it went down a little further for multiple position traders all the way down to here. And so trade number two hits power of quitting. This was the only losing trade the entire week on crude oil. All right, well, I'll do another walkthrough of some of the other markets on another video. Thanks for joining me on this walkthrough of what happened this week with crude oil futures. This is TJ with the Spotlight Power Trader, and I'll see you on the next video.